Okay. So chapter three um, talks about Internet of Things. Sometimes you call them IoT devices. IoT. IoT. Uh, IoT devices. Internet of Things. So let me see if you guys. Uh, uh, can you give me examples of Internet of Things you have at home? Anybody? Yes. Couch? What do you have at home that is considered IoT device? Uh, router? What? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, in and Jiman, what do you have uh, at home that is, that is an IoT device? Uh, internet of things, a laptop, computer, mobile. N nope, 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 nope. Nope. IoT device. Uh, May, what do you have at home that's an IoT device? Internet of Things. Modem? May? Um, okay. IoT devices. So we're going to look at it. We're going to look at it. Um, Okay, so let's look at it here, right? Look at what it says here. Uh, where's my highlighter? So look at this section here, May. The combination of smaller hardware and ubiquitous communications has enabled connectivity like the world has never seen before, right? Um, so IOTs are all electronic devices connected to each other and accessible from anywhere. All right, so we're gonna see these different IOT devices. So here are examples of IOT devices. Alexa, ring, ring, the thermostat you have at home. Sometimes, um, your refrigerator yes. may have the weather and things like that, right? If you have a, does anybody have a Fitbit? Um, robot. Um, anybody have a Fitbit? No. You know what a Fitbit is? Okay, let me show you guys. So uh, let's pull this one up here. So that's a Fitbit right there, right? When you when you um, when you run, okay. when you run, right? You can use a Fitbit to you know to you know measure your, for example, here, right? Anybody has this? When you run, you want to do two miles, three miles, four miles. Yes, you guys, you guys don't run. What yes. do you do for exercise? Yes, Lynn, do you exercise? Yeah. Okay, course. Lynn stays at the beach. Lynn stays at the beach all day, so Lynn doesn't yeah, exercise. <laughs> okay, so this is a Fitbit, right? Uh, something like that, right? These things are connected to the internet. They're small devices that are connected to the internet. Sometimes your doctor, right, can use your Fitbit to monitor your, maybe your heart rate, for example, right? Um, or we look at um, Alexa. Anyone has an Alexa at home? Alexa, put on, put on, turn on the light. Alexa, play the music. Alexa, Alexa, shut up. <laughs> Anybody has Alexa at home? Yes. Don't you have Alexa at home? Um, no? Yes, I have. Yeah, so Alexa is a type of Internet of Things. All these electronic devices that you use at home, they work through the Internet. Um, sometimes you might have a, you have a ring. What is this here? You might have a ring doorbell, right? Anybody have a ring doorbell? 
you have a ring doorbell and you connect your app yes. and you know wherever you are you can see who's in front of your house yeah. right those things are connected through the internet in internet also you might have a a ring um, thermostat i have one in my house i have this in my house anybody has this yeah alex you have a ring no no what do you use for to heat uh what do you use to control the heat alex I don't know the name of that thing, uh, but uh, this is... Okay, uh, Alex, Alex, Alex lives by the waterfall, so he doesn't need to control the heat. <laughs> the waterfall just, you know... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so these little devices, they walk through the internet, right? So this is not about, this is not your laptop or your computer. These are little devices that walk through the internet to communicate somehow to get you the you know to get you the weather sometimes you might have a refrigerator what am i doing here some new refrigerators right can show you the weather right here's an example here's a refrigerator that can tell you the weather anybody has this at home and Jiren, do you guys have a refrigerator with the weather? And then you can, you can click a button and then Target is going to bring more strawberries to your house or milk from your refrigerator. No? Well, all these devices are called Internet of Things. Say it again. Say that again. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so let's go down here and let's try it. Let's start this way. We're going to start this way. We're going to look at some of the questions we have here and then kind of walk our way back. All right, so Anu, the first question is for you. Yes. I, I have a question. I have a question. Anjuman, I'm not getting what you're saying. Yes. Uh, I do. Our mobile have. Um, there are many. Anjuman, I I can't get what you're saying. Your vo your audio is bad. Mobile phone. Um, that's like. Uh, Anjuman, I can't get what you're saying. Your audio is not good anymore. Yeah. Using an Android Okay, and... Anu, first question. Yes. Using an Android phone, you want to scroll down. What do you do to accomplish this? Swipe down? No. Okay. No? No, swipe down. Yes? Oh, yes, maybe swipe down. Maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure? Can, you, do, can you hear me? What do you mean you're not sure? Do you know how to... Do you use can a mobile phone, Anu? Yes, I use it. So, mm. how do you scroll down on the phone? Can you hear me? Yes, wow. with... Uh, just swipe, wow. swipe down. Yes, correct. Swipe down. Okay, are you sure now? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, my audio is bad now. And you didn't tell me or no you are yes but you Anjuman, I, Anjuman, your your audio is not very good at all now, okay. Uh, are you hearing? okay it's better now okay go ahead uh, I, uh, um, I uh, ask about uh, our uh, cell phone or mobile phone has many apps uh, like uh, 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 determinant uh, apps and another apps uh, who is like weather 
Andrew Man, stop, stop, stop. I can't hear your audio is not good at all. Yes. Your audio is not good at all. I ask you that is a um I um your audio is not good at all. Okay, let's keep going. Kaush, next question for you. All right, Kaush, next question for you. For which of the following tasks are gaming console not used? Editing Word documents, creating spreadsheet. Okay, so these are questions. These are questions from the chapter, right? Yeah. I mean, some things that you might be familiar with already. Yeah. Okay, so the first question was correct. It talks about using phones, right? When you scroll down the phone, uh, right? Uh, I mean, if you have your phone and you scroll down, you swipe down, all right, things, things like that. Uh, Number two, which of the following um, are gaming consoles not used? What's the gaming console? What's a gaming console? So right here, uh, gaming console, right? All right, so these are gaming consoles you have right here, okay? Uh, if you have kids, even if you don't have kids, you might have this at home. You might have a Switch, a Nintendo Switch. You might have the Xbox, right? things like that. So these are gaming consoles that are used for games and videos and things like that. All right? Uh, Bontu, you have gaming console at home? You have any of this here at home? Xbox, Switch, oh. Ling, you have gaming consoles? Yes, I have one. Which one, which one do you have? Switch. The switch. switch. Abu Sayed, I have switch too. Abu Sayed, you have a gaming console at home? Uh, maybe, but it operates my son or daughter. I don't know. It. Oh, okay. But they have something, right? Okay. So those are gaming consoles. So the question is, um, for which of the following tasks are gaming consoles not used? So, Couch is right. You can't use a gaming console uh, to edit work documents, and you can't use it to create a spreadsheet. Okay? We know that. All right, next question. Uh, on to next question for you, number three. An iPhone allowed to be on the map, uh, tap, double tap, and double tap. So if you double tap, then it will make it zoom, right? Make it, make it bigger. That's what the question is, right? Okay. Next question. May, this is for you. Number four. Um, you want a device to hold files for several years to a set on a network. So what type of the device do you need? Uh, um, the file, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Who knows the answer to this one? What station? Number four. You yeah, want a device to hold. Go ahead. Is it workstation? Sir? Okay, so the question is what's a what's a workstation? So let's let's take a look here. Um, let's investigate here. Let's look at some of these things here, right? So let's do a search. All right, so let's talk about servers, servers and workstations, all right? Now, last week or so, I think we talked about a network. A network right here, a network is a, a group of computers, 
that are somehow connected together and they share resources. For example, we talked about, um, when we talk about an office, in an office setting. In an office setting, you're gonna find co-workers in an office, all right? And these guys might share a printer, they might share files, they might share different resources, right? I mean, for example, um, May, if you're in this office, do you think that every single, let's see, how many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are like six people working in this office. Now, does each person have a printer, like a personal printer for each person? That makes no sense, right? No, yeah. So they all have to print to one printer, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if so, they they might want to share some files, maybe human resources files, maybe files for a job or a project. Now, if the, okay, so may on your computer, right? You have some files on your computer, may. Can I get those files? Is there a way for me to like just grab your files? No. I, so, there, there's no way. Yeah. The so only way I can get your files is if, you, if you exactly. If you send me your files or you email them to me or something, that's the only way. Because your computer is a personal computer. Mm -hmm. It is not a server. It is not a server. We're going to talk about servers in a second. It is not a, it's a personal computer. Whatever you do on that computer. Is you're the only person that can access the files, right? But if you put a file, right? If you put a file on a server, we we'll look at a server right here. We we'll look at a server in a second. A server, right, is a computer that allows you to place files and share the files with a lot of people. So a server is different from what we call a client. So right here, so you have server and you have client, right? So we say server share resources. A client personal computer, right? A server shares resources. So a server example is going to be a website. When you go to a website, like right now, um, when you go to a website, like, you're, like if you go to Canvas, Canvas is a server. If I put a file on Canvas, right, everybody can get to the file. But on May's computer, you can't get to the file. That's a personal computer. So servers are designed to share files with a lot of people, right? A client is a personal computer that's just for your personal use. Ling, do you understand that? Yes. So, it, so that's what a server is, right? A server, so for example, the guys in this office are going to be all connected to a server so they can share files. Like I said, maybe human resources files, maybe files for the project or whatever it is, right? Using their computer, they can use their computer to connect to a server and access some files. Sort of like we talked about last week, sort of like when you, you know, you go and watch, uh, you wanna see Netflix, right? You can say that Netflix is a kind of a server because I don't have all these movies on my computer, right? I don't have all these movies on my computer, but every one of us can go to Netflix and watch this movie because the files are on a server. They're not on a personal computer. If they were on a personal computer, there's no how, I mean, you, can't, you have no access to it, right? You have no access, okay? Now your workstation, right? A workstation, what's a workstation? A workstation is where you work in the office. So for example, right here, uh, these guys, 
Every one of these guys has a workstation. This lady has a workstation. The other lady, all the guys, your workstation. Right now, I'm at a kind of a workstation, right? Your workstation has a computer, has your monitor, has your keyboard, has some speakers, has your files, right? That's your work, your work area, your workstation. Make sense? Your workstation? So, you know, work these guys have a lot of workstations here. That's a workstation, right? Where you work. Some workstations have a lot more people than others, right? But they're all workstations. That's a workstation, right? Um, here is a very busy office. Everybody has a workstation where you do your work, okay? That's a workstation. All right. So a workstation, right, is different from a server. A workstation is where you work. But at your workstation, you can access files on the server. You understand? On your workstation at the office, you can access the files that are placed on the server. How is that possible? Because you are connected in a network, right? Your computer is connected to all the other computers and everyone is connected to the server using, you know, we talked about it last week, using cables, right? If your computer is on a network, it probably has cables like that, right? You are somehow connected to the server and you can access the files on the server, right? So has anybody worked in an office before where the files are not on your computer, but you are able to access them from a server. Anybody work in an office like that? Anu, tell us about it. Yes, yes, I did like that. So, what kind of files were you? Did you have access to? Uh, image files, maybe uh, we have to get access from the server. Uh, our okay, so those are, files are not stored. Those files are not on your computer, but you can access them, right? Yes, yes. We can copy from the server to our system, and then we can work. Okay, that's right. So that's what it is. Cell force. Why don't you go ahead? I said cell force. What? Cell force. Cell force. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of offices, in fact, maybe every office, right, you're going to have files on the server, and then you can access them from your workstation. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. So that's basically what he's talking about here. Um, every time we complete lectures, guys, you need to also go and review the details of what he's talking about here, right? Okay. So let's go back to that question. So back to that question, question four. I think who was answering the question? I think it was Couch. I don't remember. Couch yeah, tried. Me, me. No, Couch tried already. Me, May, me. May, May, May's yeah, question. Yeah. So May, try it this. again. Question four. Uh, you want a device to hold file for several years to a set on a network. What type of the device do you need? A server. Exactly. Exactly. Because the people who are working, right, they need to be able to access the files. So where do you keep the files? Not on a flash drive, because if it's on a flash drive, well, only one person can get to it. If it's on a tablet, right, you know what a tablet is, right? We all have tablets. Well, only one person can get to a tablet. If it's on a workstation, only one person can get to a workstation. But when you put it on the server, everyone, because the way the server is designed, everyone in that office can have access to the server on the network. Okay? So that is servers and workstations. Servers, let me talk about this for a second. Have you guys heard about this cloud? Yeah. Yeah, these days are cloud. Alex. Is Alex, what is what is the cloud? The cloud. We talk about the cloud. What's the cloud? 
The plot is like a, a, a server where you can uh, save some files. And uh, it would be like uh, an updated flash drive. You can save your files on the cloud and then uh, access your cloud from somewhere else, some other uh, workstation or anywhere that you have uh, access to the internet. You can access your files on the cloud again. So is the cloud, can you, is the cloud a physical place, physical no. location? No. Or it's just like, Somewhere up there in the sky, nobody knows where it is. Uh, and human. Let's, uh, let's try and human. And human is the part a physical space, or is it no. somewhere in space? Uh, no. Okay. So you guys are saying the cloud is not a physical place. Nobody knows where it is. I knew the cloud is not a physical place, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a server somewhere. We don't know, I think. Where? Yeah, that's you know why it is cloud. Is. That's why it is a cloud. Oh, it's just somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You don't know where it is. Maybe it's in heaven, right? Just somewhere. Who knows, right? Alex, it can, maybe it's in that waterfall behind you. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Okay. Well, the cloud is a physical look, a physical place oh. that you can go to. I'm going to show you. For example, let's look at um, Facebook cloud. Um. All right, so here's an example of a cloud, right? The idea of cloud just basically means, when you talk about cloud, talk about everywhere, all the time, right? You can access your stuff, right? Access from, you know, anywhere, everywhere, all the time. That's what the cloud means. So. If you want to check your email, you can check your email right now. If you go to California, you can check your email. If you go to New York, you can check your email. If you go to Bangladesh, you can check your email. Go to Egypt, you can check your email, right? Anywhere you are at any time. Am I correct? It's like, it's like when you look at the actual cloud, Right, when you look at the actual cloud up there, or the sky, um, Ling, do you have uh, the sky like in China? Yes. You're sure, right? You've seen the sky before in yeah, China. I was a kid. I saw it in the world. Cow, was have, a kid. Couch, have you seen the, the sky when you were in your country? Yes. Yeah. And, and then when you came to the United States, the sky was still there. Uh, no, clouds are different. It, yeah, <laughs> it's different. Like we are, but we what do you mean it's different? Cloud. The cloud is different? Cloud shape is different, but I can see the cloud. Of course, of course the shape is different. Of course <laughs> the shape. But the cloud is still right there, yeah? yeah? It's the same, it's same everywhere in, 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 in any exactly. country. Exactly. Yes. It's the same. It's like it's following you everywhere you go, right? Yeah, moon, sun. In yeah. fact, when I was a kid, I, th I used to think that the cloud used to actually follow you everywhere you go. Like, you <laughs> yes. know, the cloud was moving. Yes, yes. It looks yes. like it's moving. It's following you, right? So that's the idea. When we talk about the cloud, it means that it's always there. You can access your files, your work from anywhere at any time. But the cloud is a physical thing. So, for example, here is Facebook's cloud, or you can call it the data center, right? The data center. This data center, I think this one is in, um, you have them everywhere. You might have some in California, 
in North Carolina, in Boston, in, you know, in Addis Ababa, or you have it in Dubai, you have it in Asia, you have clouds everywhere. Clouds are basically servers, right? Here's an example, right? Like I just showed you guys. Here is a server. This guy here is the server room. These are all, these are, all these devices are servers, right? And you have people who work in this. You have people who work in these different centers, right? This is a cloud example, right? These are all machines, physical machines. So they, they can be there all over the world, all over the state, all over the country, all over the world. They're all connected together, and they, they have your files. Your files, your files can, be on, can be anywhere around the world. That's the truth, right? Um, so, so the cloud is computers, physical servers where files are stored. Physical servers where files are stored. Here are examples, right? Physical places, right, where files are stored. So don't think the cloud is somewhere in the sky. The cloud is basically the idea is that you can access your files anywhere, but the actual cloud centers are around everywhere around the world. You have computers or servers in different places, right? So all these here are examples of, you know, cloud centers all around the world. And when you go in there, there are a lot of a lot of computers there. A lot of computers. Like a lot. You can see for example here, it looks like a grocery store, right? Well, these are servers, a lot of servers. So that's the idea right there, okay? Um let's go back here. So servers, right? Uh so your I mean for example, your emails uh, we talked about Netflix, uh, Google Drive, all the different apps that we use. Maybe you use Office 365. All those files are stored on servers that are in different cloud centers around the world. It's a lot of computers, a lot of servers, right? But the main job of a server is to share resources, right? So you can store your files there. I mean, if you store your file, let's say you're, you're here today, you're here in you know, Massachusetts, and you so store your files, right? If you travel to China, can you get those files? Absolutely, right? You're not going to say, oh, my files are in Boston. I have to wait until I get to Boston before I can check my files. No, just, put, just get to your computer or your laptop, boom, 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 and you're on your way. Right, because it's stored on a server, and those servers are in different computer centers or cloud centers or data centers around the world. Right, so you're getting you guys are getting more knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Right, so so when you look at this question now, this will help you have an idea of what it's talking about. Right the job of a server or a workstation or a tablet or a file console where you save files. Okay. Let's go to another question here. Oh, let's go to this question. Ling, this is for you. Question six. Ling? Sorry, <laughs> which type of um, IoT device is used to control the temperature in a home? You know, we looked at this picture, right? We looked at when I showed uh, Alex the, what was the picture we were looking at? Uh, where is it? Uh oh, where's that picture? Ready to go. Disappeared. Uh, we looked at the picture of a ring. Okay, so we, you look, you recognize this, right? 
Yeah. yeah. Now, what is this used for? The most. To change the temperature in your home. Exactly. If you want it to be, to be colder or to be warmer at home, you use this kind of device. If you have the app, right, you can download the app on your phone and control your, temp control your temperature from maybe you're at school or you're at work, right? You can do that. So, so the question is, that's, it's, that's what it's asking you. What kind of IoT device, right? Internet of Things device at home. All those little devices that you have at home. Which of these guys is used to control the temperature? Uh, the first, the most, most thermostat. 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 You have to break up the word. Oh, so let me let me show you how you do that. Let me show you how you do that. So you take the word, oh, not that, C-H-E-R-M-O-S-T-A-T. -E so you say uh, thermostat, right? This is now an English class for the next two seconds. Ther, thermostat. Ther then you know what you can do? You know what else you can do? This is what I do sometimes, right? Or I tell my kids, you go and do a Google search and you go to, uh, right here, define, you say define, define thermostat. And then you click on this voice here, right? If you click on the voice, it will tell you how to pronounce it, right? So try that, Lean, on your computer. You do a defined thermostat and then click on the voice and then you hear, how does it say that? Thermostat. Thermos, thermostat. There you go. There you go. That was easy, right? So don't just say ther, thermo. I don't know what that is. No. Just go to Google and say thermostat, right? You say, how do you say that? Thermostat. Okay. There you go. Okay. So a thermostat is used for, uh, let's look at it here. All right. So let's do a search here. So here you go, right? So heating and cooling, if you want to heat your house or you want to cool the place, you can program, right, the thermostats. You can program them. You can set, you can change the setting. Make it hot, make it cold. It allows you to um, set the temperature based on the time and the day, right? So that's what it's used for. But now you can remotely control, I mean, you know, some of the thermostats that we have are very manual. At home, you have to kind of uh, try to, let's see. Let's see examples of some of the thermostats that you might see at home. All right, so here are some examples, right, of what you have at home. So the new ones, right, this new Internet of Things, IoT devices, you can now control them remotely, right? You can control them remotely many times with an app. That's why it's called the Internet of Things, right? Little devices that are connected to the internet somehow. So not like the, the old ones we have, like this one here, you can't really control them remotely, right? You can't at all. You have to go there at home and push the button. Okay. So it says uh, with this one here, you can remotely control them. They're called, uh, um, you know, smart, smart thermostats, right? They're very smart. You can do a lot of stuff to them. You can say, when it's six o'clock, well, change the temperature and make it cooler or make it warmer or something. You can control them remotely. Okay. So, so Ling, so that's the answer there. That yes. type of IoT device is used to control temperature at home. Yes. That's your thermostat. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's look at number eight. Uh, couch try number eight. What is the term used that refers to connecting two Bluetooth devices together for communications? I thought it is pairing. Well, Couch is still looking at it. What? Pairing. C. A, B, C, or D? C. C. C, right? Is it C, Couch? Yes. I thought it is C. All right, so... Uh, all right, so when you have two Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth devices, uh, for example, look at this guy's, right? So this guy's, oh, let's say, yeah, let's say this girl here, right? She has this earpiece, and she wants to connect it to her phone, right? So this is a Bluetooth device. So when you connect those two devices, that's the question. What's it called? And you're right. It's called pairing, right? Um, some, uh, does anybody have a car that you have connected your phone to? Anybody? Like you get, your phone is connected to your car and when you drive, you just, you don't have to hold your phone. You just speak to the car speakers. Anybody? Um, Nobody here has a car? Yes. Anybody? No? Yes. yes. Couch, you have, you have a car, right? Yes. Okay, to take to move those little kids around, right? <laughs> And then you can so and then you can pair your Bluetooth in the car, right, with your phone or with some other devices, right? Yes. Okay. So that's so that's what the word that's what the term is. It's called pairing. Right? It's called pairing. Uh, let's see if we can find pairing. All right, so right there, it says right here in the book, uh, to, en to enable two Bluetooth devices to communicate with each other, you need to walk through a process called Bluetooth pairing, right? It's like a setup process, but it's called, blue it's called pairing. And here's all the steps to do that, okay? All right, let's see another question here. Bontu, the next one is for you. Right here, number 11. Ukraine recently got a new Android phone and comes over to your house. What app does Ukraine use to set up Wi Fi connection with your wireless router? Router? Router. Router. Okay. Router. I think Wi Fi. A, B, C, or D? A, B, C, or D? Um, I'm not sure. All right, so, Bonte, do you have people come to your house and say, uh, let me use your Wi-Fi. What's your password, right? Do they ask stuff like that? Yes. Yes, Wi-Fi. All right, so it's asking you, what app does your friend use to set up a Wi-Fi connection with your router? Do they go to the Wi-Fi? Do they go to settings? Do they go to networking connections? Uh, What's settings. the app? Settings. Settings? Settings? Yeah, settings. Settings. Really? Settings? Is settings uh, an app? 
No. Wife is not up. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this here. All right, so there you go. Um, let's see. All right, so right, right here, I think this is what he's talking about, this section here. Um, right here. So it, it, it's, a, it's a data connection, right? Um, the primary data connection that you can make is to a Wi-Fi network. When you are using Wi-Fi, you are not using your wireless data plan, so essentially your data is unlimited, right? So when you're at home, for example, if you're, if you're on the road and you're using your WhatsApp or you're using Netflix, you're using your data plan. You get billed for it differently. But when you're at home, right, and you're on your Wi-Fi, it's part of your plan, so there's no limit. You can use it for as long as you want. So bottom line, when you're on the road, try to not use any of those, you know, Netflix or stuff, except you are in a Wi-Fi place where they allow you to do that. But when you're in the car or on the bus, if you do any of that stuff, your bill is going to be like going up and up and up and up and up, right? So basically... It says if you are doing a lot of downloading, using a Wi-Fi connection can save you money. Plus, it is generally a lot faster than doing it outside using your mobile phone. All right. So what is the answer for that question? What does it give us the answer for? I believe the answer should be Wi-Fi. No? Let's look at the answer. So let's go to that's okay. question 11, chapter 3. Okay. Is it Wi-Fi? It should be Wi-Fi, but let's see what it says here in the appendix. The Wi-Fi is, is the not appendix? an app. It's not an app? So what's the answer? Okay, right here, appendix B, chapter 3, question 11 is what? Right here, is this the answer? B. Answer B. Okay. B. All right. So look at what it says here, right? Wi-Fi settings. Yeah, because the Wi-Fi is in the setting. It is setting. Yeah, you need to go setting first, and then. Okay. Now you know. So when you see the question, make sure you get it right. <laughs> no, we know. Just not you know. We know. Well, oh, <laughs> you were supposed to know, right? Because yes. you have the assignment and you have the exam. Yes, yes. That's why we're trying to be sure that we're getting it right. So it says that the Wi-Fi settings are the Wi-Fi settings are in the settings app. In the settings app. Right? So when you grab your phone, right? You grab your phone and you go into settings on your phone. Uh, where's my settings? Let me see. Uh, I go into my settings, wherever my settings are. So you go into your settings on your phone, you're going to find your Wi-Fi uh, information there. Right? So, so we're all learning. The settings app. Your Wi-Fi settings. So the answer there is settings app in Android as well as on the iPhone. All right. Okay, so I think we can wrap it up right there. And we're gonna continue uh, next time we see, let me just see what we got there, chapter three. Yeah, I want us to, I want us to look at the questions and kind of, you know, kind of like use that, uh, you know, to discuss 
the chapter, right? So that it makes more sense. You know, it makes more sense um, kind of like that way. You know, we just try different approach, different approach. So, so right there is settings, right? So, the, so what app does your friend use to set up a Wi-Fi connection? Uh, the settings app. That's what we saw there, okay? All right, one more question. Bontu, this is for you, the last question there for now. Question 12, back to you. Oh, each of the following devices is likely to have the least amount of storage space. Each of the device like to have the least amount of storage space. The smallest storage space. A more what is it, the least amount? What? A? Yeah, A. Mobile phone? Mobile phone. Yeah. Do you guys agree? Is it the mobile phone? Yes, I, yes. I, I thought it is mobile yes. phone. <laughs> yeah, because the phone is very small, right? Yes. I mean, how much can you really put in there? Um, you could, so your maybe? laptop is much bigger. Your laptop can take several, maybe terabytes. A workstation is even bigger. A server is like the biggest size, right? Huge. So, huge. So your mobile phone is probably the answer. Okay. We'll continue on Thursday. Let's do the, um, let's do the attendance and then you guys can be out of here.